of the Titans, son of Hyperion and Thea, and the personification of the sun in Greek mythology. Today, we're talking about this sun god, the brain of this temple, the Helios Council. Welcome to another episode of Historic Sound. The Helios, he was an engineer of a studio in Olympic, and um, every band wanted to record in Olympic studios because of, there was something about the sound that was real. It was sensitive to the way musicians were playing. I personally believe that the Helios uh, is the best console in the world, is the Bugatti. There's not a lot of them. Uh, artists like Zeppelin, um, the Beatles, The Who, Bob Marley in Jamaica and in their studio, they also had their own console. These boards sounded so good. Richard Branson uh, from the, the Mainer, he also built a, a, a mobile recording truck based around the Helios and they recorded the Ramones, The Cure, you name it, they recorded a bunch of live albums with that. One of the beauties of the history is that the music that inspired me, it was all done and all came from this circle of people who were using Helios console. Um, this specific console, it, it, it was ordered uh, by, um, I think the studio was called Talent Studios in Norway. You got the, the record label was ECM and you had like Pat Matheny, Keith Jarrett and all these big jazz musicians recording. And if you go back to the albums, you see that, that there's a high fidelity perspective to it. This Helios board is uh, the last model they made with all the improvements. It has a four band EQ, active EQ. The, the previous models were passive and is much cleaner. The gain is much cleaner and it sounds super, super sweet. You know, this console, uh, before I got it, it was owned by Scott Stapp. Uh, he's a singer of Creed. Originally, it was brown and he decided to make it purple. I'm going to show you some of the things that we've done here with the microphones and with the equipment. I'm going to play you right now uh, the beginning of a, of a song. I'm showing you the raw sounds. Well, let me put the start with the, with the drums. If I remember correctly, we were using the a ribbon mic that has been modified to be able to put it in the kick with a U47 in, in the out, outside part to get pretty much the big part of the drum. And then we had a small condenser and a dynamic on the snare. But then in the overheads, we're using a, a mid-side mic, um, which is built inside of a, inside a flashlight. This piano is very loud, it's very big, so um, it, you're definitely going to see the dynamics of the way that I'm playing the piano. So, I mean... You can see how by just adding a little bit of EQ, the, the bottom end of the piano comes up. So, I, I wish I could show you more of the song, but eventually uh, you'll get to hear it once it's mixed and, and we've put it, equalized it and put it together. We're just showing you how this console and this mixer, you can play around with sounds to, to make it sonically interesting for your ear. <laughs> I hope it was fun. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful world of music. In the next episode, uh, we're going to be talking about the wall. The, the great wall of equipment, uh, especially all the compressors and passive equalizers that we use to, to make this sonically good for your ears. So for now, peace out, have fun.